Legal. What's going on, YouTube? Chuck Taylor with another video here, of course. I uh, haven't made a video in about two weeks, so I think I'm overdue. Bring out a couple here tonight, so be sure to check out the other ones, other new videos as well. But um, first off, uh, like I said, I haven't made a video in a while. Figured I would come back with something nice. It is Wednesday, uh, May 1st, as y'all know. Everybody's looking forward to the release here uh, this Saturday. What is that? The 4th for the Grapes. So I'm really excited about that. Um, if y'all look at some of my previous videos, y'all might have seen a picture of me with my Grapes pair I have from 2006. Uh, so I really love the colorways. I love the fives in general. I haven't had a pair in a second. So I figured it was overdue. But I work on Saturday, flying out on Sunday. Not really any time to go pick up some shoes and deal with all the tickets and this and this and that and that. So, even though I always say I never really pay more than retail for my shoes and blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I picked them up early. Bam. So, real nice, of course. Love them. Seeing them, quality on them was real nice. A lot better than uh, than what I expected, honestly, when I first heard they were re-releasing. Um, got them for about $220. Uh, not bad at all, considering a lot of people trying to do them early for like... 250 270 whatever blah 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 blah. so 220 they retail for 160 so of course after the tax it came to about 175 ish eh, not really true about the extra because this is of course this is one pair of J's that i had to get uh i just i just had to get them uh and i'm not really a big fan of the new releases as most y'all even know but uh, i'll get into the review here on the shoe as you can see everybody knows the grapes uh Classic, probably one of the most popular colorways. The 2006 models, you can easily find them selling for 300 sometimes even $400. The pair I bought back then, I'd actually bought two pair. One pair I got for $280, um, one pair I got for $320. So, of, of course, they, they can definitely get up there. So, if you have this pair come five, six years from now, you'll probably be looking at about the same, if not more, on the resale value of them uh, at that time. But um, as you can see, uh, it features pretty much an all white upper, nothing really too crazy with that. It has the clean white laces as well with the white mesh under it. Uh, of course, as you already know, the shoe is called Grapes for a reason. If you can't figure out why, then yeah, you should you should really get some help. But um, the purple tongue definitely pops out there. Um, the one thing I love about the fives and the tongue with them is that it's 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 real soft, squishy soft and squishy definitely sticks out and of course you have the uh the kind of turquoise i'm guessing aqua color jump man on there to accent along with the same color in the back and it has the white tag with the black air jordan right there as well uh, of course the other thing that pops out is the sole definitely makes the shoe kind of kind of uh kind of flash there featuring the purple and black on the back portion with the accent of the turquoise or aqua blue on the front again. Um, the biggest thing I liked about these is even with them having the blue icy soles, I'm not really a big fan of the blue icy soles, but on this particular shoe, uh, it definitely fits and it's a nice touch with it having kind of that, that aqua kind of feel already and with the turquoise blue and stuff. Um, as you can see the bottom of the shoe, it does have some black accenting around the front, white in the mid with the word Jordan of course, and with the aqua turquoise blue uh, jump in on the sole as well, underneath the icy blue sole. Um, of course, the Nike Air, it does have that I believe, let me think here, or no I was about to say something stupid, never mind. <laughs> But uh, the Nike Air, of course, here if you kind of feel this back part, it's pretty squishy, so I'm guessing these are pretty comfortable. Haven't tried them on yet. Um, as you can see, that everything is still lace factory. Uh, I did take the little thing out of there, thing out of there just so I can kind of see on the inside. Um, the inside, of course, around the back, all black. Definitely a lot of cushioning there. And it does have the turquoise blue insole with the purple jump man. But uh, I'll be bringing y'all a video of these, a uh, look at these on feet in just a second. But here's just a close-up while I have it in front of the camera. 
Uh, like I said, definitely one of my one of my most favorite colorways in the Jordans. Um, I wouldn't consider these my Grails, uh, but I would definitely put them put them right up there. I just love the shoe in general. So nice, nice, nice. And as you can see as well, I forgot to mention the the turquoise or blue jump in the back also. So that is a look at the Jordan Fives. And now you'll be seeing them on feet here. Bam. So here's a look at the Jordan 5 grapes on feet. Um, as you can see, uh, one shoe has the lace, lace locks on there. One shoe doesn't. It's really a lot of ways to rock them. Not really a wrong or right rate. Wrong or right way, depending on which way that you like. Uh, me personally, I kind of switch it up. Sometimes just rock it like this, like the laces just hang. Sometimes just tuck the laces in. Doesn't really matter though. But that's a look from the side, from that way. And a look from the other side. And I did check as well on the older pair. The lace lock was actually black on that one as well. I just double checked on that. That's a look from the inside. And a look from the back for you. But like I was saying earlier, probably one of my most, most favorite Jordan colorways, uh, just because it is a little bit different with the purple and the kind of turquoise, aqua blue, whatever you want to call it. Whether you're wearing them with long pants or shorts, they always going to make sure to pop. I prefer to rock mines with shorts personally, just because of the way that the tongue sits when you put them on with jeans. The jeans seem to always, depending on what kind of jeans you wear, of course, the jeans I wear always seem to kind of fall over the tongue and I like for the tongue to be out. So, if you are wearing these on court, uh, just me having them on right now, they are pretty comfortable as well. So, that's a plus there. And, of course, look at the bottom for you. But, yeah, that is a look at the Jordan 5 great retros on feet. Alrighty, so that was my review of the Jordan 5 grapes. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be in line waiting here Saturday trying to get your pair, waiting for calls from Foot Locker, Champs, or wherever um, to, to, to say they got your pair on hold. And good luck to everybody on getting them. Um, must have for any collection. If you are, if you are a, a real Jordan head, it's really a no brainer. Uh, honestly, <laughs> and even if you're not a Jordan head, you probably will, would love this colorway uh, just in general. But of course, as always, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Real Chuck T. And also, I'm still doing the giveaway on Twitter when I get 120 followers. And just uh, hashtag I want free sneaks with the Z. Tag me at the Real Chuck T, and I'll make sure to enter you into that drawing. And it's not even that many people that really, uh, I've been getting a lot of, a lot of, a few followers, but I haven't really got that many people tagging me in the I want free sneaks, so I guess nobody really want free shoes, so that's cool, more money in my pocket, more, more money towards my shoe budget. I'm trying to give, give shoes away and bless other people because I just like, like doing nice things. Um, and I'll probably be doing some more giveaways here sometime soon, so I did actually get 100 subscribers here recently, so, uh, that'll be coming very soon as well. Uh, but still... Air Jordan 5 Grape review, must have uh, here this Saturday, May 4th, go copy a pair, get your tickets, uh, pay off the dude that work at Foot Locker, do whatever you got to do, but get them now. And it's your boy Chuck T, signing out. The sky's falling, the wind is calling, stand for something or die in the morning. Section 80, high power.